I wish to welcome you to this morning service. Uh, it's coming to you from Cantley Methodist Church. And I'm glad that you can be part of this uh, worship service. Today is the third Sunday in Easter. And so uh, before Easter elapses, let's sing an Easter song or uh, an Easter hymn. Christ is risen today, hallelujah. Christ the Lord is risen today, hallelujah. Let us pray together. Lord God, as we continue to celebrate the season of Easter with all the joy and the hope it brings, we give you our thanks and praise. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer as we are experiencing springtime and the resurrection of nature after the dark chill of winter we give you our thanks and our praise launch in your mercy hear our oh, prayer God. as we reflect on the faithfulness of your immeasurable love We give you our thanks and praise. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Forgive us, Lord, if we have lost the wonder and delight of the Eastern good news. When we do not have real regard for your creation and live selfishly, those times when we neglect to respond to your care for us and for our uh, environment. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus' words of assurance is, My child, your sins are forgiven. Amen. Thanks be to God. Shall we say the Lord's Prayer together? Our Father, who art in heaven, alone be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We are going to take our reading. Uh, it's taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24. We'll begin from 36 
to 48. This story takes place on the evening uh, of the day that Jesus rose from the grave. Jesus appears to his disciples. While the two were telling them this, suddenly the Lord himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were terrified, thinking that they were seeing a ghost. But he said to them, Why are you alarmed? Why are these doubts coming up in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet, and see that it is I myself. Feel me, and you will know, for a ghost doesn't have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. He said this, and showed them his hands and feet. They still could not believe. They were so full of joy and wonder. So he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of cooked fish, which he took and ate in their presence. Then he said to them, These are the very things I told you about while I was still with you. Everything written about me in the law of Moses, the writings of the prophets, and the Psalms had to come true. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, this is what it is written, the Messiah must suffer and must rise from death three days later, and in his name the message about repentance and the forgiveness of sins must be preached to all nations, beginning in Jerusalem. You are my witnesses of these things. Thank you. Verses 46 said, And Jesus told them, This is what is written, The Messiah is to suffer and must rise again from the dead after three days, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things and you are witnesses of these things someone has said that whether we know it or not we are living in an age of eyewitness think about all the social media the social outlets where things happen in real time whether we're talking about a Facebook or Twitter, the YouTube, I am told there are 140 of them. Uh, I can't, I wouldn't even be able to mention all of them. You get into an altercation on the motorway and somebody comes with his camera from behind in his car and before you have even sorted out with the person, uh, the other person involved, uh, the guy with a camera in his car has posted it on the social media. Probably it has been picked by the police and before you know it, uh, the police are there on the scene. Uh, you go to a supermarket and you want to pick a thing or two and uh, you, you have this eerie feeling that somebody is watching you, some hidden eye is watching you, eyewitness of every move that we make. But on the positive side, think about uh, things that happen in real time. The Olympics, for example, we, it happens in real time and we can see it in our own television, in our own uh, setting rooms. When Britain is getting those in gold, when Mofara has won and gold for this country, we are filled with that thrill and it has happened in real time. 
or some images have come from uh, the Perseverance, the, this space, spacecraft, which is out in the Mars. And we have these wonderful images of a wound that is out there, called to be eyewitness, called to be eyewitness. And we are told that Jesus opened their minds. He opened their minds so that they could understand, so that they could perceive uh, what it was all about. Our court system is uh, also, it lends a lot of weight to an eyewitness, not a hearsay, but an eyewitness. Did you see it? Did you hear it? Did you hear hold it, that sort of thing. Easter stories are stories largely of eyewitness, people who are there. Even though also Easter stories are quite often stories of tears, stories of loss, stories of dismay. Think about uh, the tears. They see him dying on the Friday. And the, 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 the disciples are despondent. They don't know what to make of it. Their leader has been crucified. He has died in a most horrible uh, way, bad death. He has been crucified. But then also there are these amazing stories that they hear that he has risen, he is not in the tomb, he has been sighted in one or two places. Uh, people are talking about that he is, he is being seen here and there. They don't know what to make of them because they saw him die on the Friday. And then uh, Lo and behold, uh, there are these two disciples who are walking to Emmaus, village of Emmaus. And the Lord makes a self disclosure as they sit down to eat. Lo and behold, who is the, the, the visitor? Uh, it is the Lord himself. So they hurry back to go and tell the disciples. They trek the seven miles. And when they, they are busy telling them about the way he appeared to them, lo and behold, again, he appears. Um, the, it doesn't matter that the door is securely locked. The Lord appears. The disciples freeze with the fear. They don't know what to make of, of all this. They don't know what to make of it. And Jesus challenges them and says that you are going to be my witnesses. You are going to be my witnesses. In fact, uh, in the book of, of Acts of Apostles, chapter 1, verses 8, he tells them that wait in Jerusalem until you are clothed with the power, and then you are going to be my witnesses. Uh, not only here in the city of Jerusalem, but the all of Judea, the all of Samaria, and the, all the ends of the earth. That power that was released, released that day goes on and on and on until it comes to us today. I want to think, think about two or three things in this uh, uh, lesson today. One is that God's self-disclosure often happens at meal times. It is as the, the two from a mouse sat down to eat that Jesus took bread and blessed it and they said, wait a minute, who is this among us? And then it disappeared again. 
this is self-disclosure when uh, again he ate with his disciples uh, when they celebrated the communion it is again when he told them plainly what he was all about that was a time that he took a towel wrapped it around his waist and told them, you know, my business is, is one of serving others, show and, and tell. God's self-disclosure happens at meal time. When he appeared uh, to the disciples and they froze and they were not convinced that he is the one, the only thing he asked them was, give me a piece of fish and they handed him a boiled fish and he ate and said look at me handle my hands touch me how can you say i'm a ghost when uh, uh, a ghost is a dis dis emboldened uh, being it's not even a being um, if, if you you try to touch a ghost you can't because it has no body this is me and, and so yes uh, we are an Easter people we believe not in a ghost we believe in Jesus the risen Messiah the one who was crucified and the one who is risen now uh, the last thing that I really I want us to talk about is that Jesus has left, left us a pattern pattern of sharing uh, the whole concept of uh, eating together with the people, or the many times that he eat together with others, uh, it was to model good practice that Christianity, the faith of the church, is about sharing our resources with others. And they will know that we are Christians by our love, that Sunday school song. Let's, let's, this sister, remember those who are less fortunate than us. Jesus has left us a pattern that he wants to eat with us, that to, to say that he has no discrimination, he, he divides us, we are equal with him, but also uh, he has left us a pattern that the kennel of the gospel the the essence of the gospel is one of sharing with others may god help us and bless us together as we go out and share the love of god not so much in uh, words but also in action to be a witness of jesus christ is not just to talk about it it's also uh, to act on the same. I want us to pray together and then uh, we'll uh, listen to the last track. Lord, we pray for our world, for the environment and people that all who have power and influence will work with integrity and wisdom and seek to bring healing on our planet and peace and justice for all people. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the church, for those who are persecuted and suffer for their faith, for those who have expressed heart instead of healing, for those who are wandering and doubtful, Lord, bring your revelation and transformation. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for families, for friends and neighbors who are living through difficult times particularly those who are struggling at this time with improvement, isolation, or loneliness. 
which is uh, increased because of the lockdowns. Lord hear us, Lord graciously hear us. We want the world before you, O Lord, because you said it was very good when you created us. You created the world. We pray on God that we will have a kinder world, a more caring world, a world that is responsive, responsive to the gospel of grace. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are now going to listen to uh, to the 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 hymn is "Hail the Day That Sees Him Rise." Uh, we are anticipating that after Easter will come Pentecost. Uh, so I. The truth be told, I couldn't really get an appropriate Easter track, so I went for the Pentecost. Pentecost. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>